Hello and welcome to this development update of Hairstrand Designer version 1.5. Uh, there's been some improvement overall with uh, the selection of each set and the ability to override. Simply choose one of the sets and you can now just drag around sets with the mouse. No more crazy offsets with arrow keys, although you can still use those if you want. Uh, there's overrides for a lot of things now, so you've got individual overrides as long as one of these is selected. You can see when you hover over, you get the number identification of each set. So now you can basically modify everything however you like. Uh, variation also works the same, just bear in mind variation will affect other strands due to the randomization nature. Uh, you can move up to a higher set and do variation and it won't affect the lower sets so it's a good idea to work from left to right in that sense uh, so tapering spacing waviness waviness frequency these all work in a per set basis same with the offset for the mixers you can now edit the mixers live, so you click here, you can actually see what's going to happen to anything that's affected by uh, mixer 1 here. You can actually click to change the mixer quite quickly and edit that one and the third one. So anything that's influenced by that. And you can either click this X here to come back out, which I like, see if you haven't to press any buttons. And it will take you back here. It will also act as the exit button. You can click the N here instead of typing, so a lot of it is just intuitive. Uh, there's a little bug, okay, because this was actually active, so I'll make sure to disable that in the update. Uh, so as you enable each set, it will activate any override functionality that you want to give each one. If you left click it will disable it or right click to disable the selection and everything becomes driven by a global value uh, all apart from any overrides that you've pre-decided such as length and anything that's turned orange basically won't be affected by you know, a global type of setting. So you see spacing affects everything. But if I go into one here and change the spacing, make that really thin actually, and then turn that off. You can see now if I do spacing, it's only affecting things that weren't predefined. So you can see the set here, which I think is five. If you click on five, you can see it's that set, uh, the spacing here is actually orange, which means it's already had an override. Anything that's orange, basically. Uh, the only things that aren't part of that is the thickness, range, and variation fading because they're kind of generic. And set distance because that affects all sets. And then it's up to you to then go in and create you know, a new position for that just by clicking and moving. So there's a few little bugs to fix here and there, and I also need to make sure it works uh, with a save file. I need to update the save file with all the new override variables. And I also need to make sure it loads in older files so it's kind of semi backwards compatible. And then you can update any of the new override features with older files and then resave uh, as 1.5. You can check out the product page here. This is some progress that I've been going through. This is just the update of the ArtStation Pro project uh, product page. And this is the things that I've done. Position control via mouse, per set override control for most sliders, which is pretty much everything you need. So next will be some pair strand images to add even more strands. and. That is basically for one strand that it draws, it's 
going to use a smaller image that might be it consists of three or four dots and it's just going to draw those, draw those dots down they will kind of have a parallel effect but it will uh, it will make the hairs much more busier looking if you need that uh, and you can change up the brush types make them all the same have them random per, per strand and uh, maybe a certain range so i think there'll be three or four different hair tips uh, one will be the singular dot which it is at the minute maybe a double dot triple dot and uh, four dots and maybe even the future the option to load in your own uh, dot types with a normal map but we'll look at that soon uh, so I just need to work on saving and loading, detecting all fi older file types and an alternate normal map generated from the depth pass. I already have a shader in place that does this but I've yet to implement it into the UI and figure out how I'm going to uh, work that out. But everything seems to be working fine, uh, just the same. I'll get an update out hopefully before the 28th of October. I've got a whole week to work on any sort of bugs that might crop up and checking this the loaded save file type stuff so thanks for watching this video hope you like this update and i'll catch you soon bye